But you don't know. She might have been intermittently. Like, she might have posted our you know single life again, and he might have been like, right, okay, let me reach out. It might not be that she was contacting him before that, or could he be. was contacting her. Could be. I don't buy it. I mean, of course, be. You, of course you don't. Could of be. course you don't. Right, but you know, it's it's important for us to have two different. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I hear that. I get that. I just don't buy it. I just, but, then, I just I, don't. but at the end of the day, like, what has she done wrong? I'm sorry, you fumbled the bag. She was so, oh, no, yeah. so needy. What are you upset about? Like, and also, how long is she supposed to wait before you get back into a relationship? How long was the break for? This is why I don't believe in breaks. <laughs> No, there are no such things as breaks. Like, it's break ups and that's it. it. I don't good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. Welcome back to another episode of the Couple School Podcast. I'm joined as always by the lady of self love herself, Charmaine Lawrence. Hello guys. <laughs> so this Wait, wait, wait. Episode forty. Yes. Episode forty guys. There you go. Can't Congratulate miss that. us, please. <laughs> Congratulate us. Forty please. episodes in. She forty ha- episodes. She forty has... episodes of your drama. We love it. <laughs> Keep sending it in. Yeah, please do. This this as much as we enjoy the drama and the discussion and scenarios, we do hope you guys are finding some sort of um usefulness out of what's being put out we know and, they um, are they're sending us the messages they and I, i'm just saying it i appreciate everything <laughs> that appreciate people put over this week's <laughs> this week's topic is she's going back to her ex <laughs> okay. yes my girlfriend and i decided to have a break from the relationship because i couldn't handle her insecurities and her constant neediness it's been four months and although we have spoken as friends it hasn't progressed back into a relationship I thought I was okay with it until she told me that she was getting back with her ex. I'm pissed. Four months. Do you think she was talking to him while we were together? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yes, I do. Yes, 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 I do. Possibly. No, I do. I, 100%. Possibly. I mean, not necessarily. Not necessarily. She might actually have been like not talking to him, but then a mutual might have been like, oh, you know, she's single now. Amanda swooped in there. You... Fumbled the bag. It's on you. I don't believe that she was talking to him whilst until you <laughs> no, were together, you can say that, and she, he, she, the pot was kept warm, and that way, that's why it was so easy for it to boil after in four months. And them, and that's her. And the way I look at it like this, her announcing that they're together after four months, like it's a big subject to say you're going, you're going, you're you're, you're there. We're having in a relationship, so therefore, I think there must have been conversations going on beforehand. I don't necessarily believe that she did anything before that point, but I think they were definitely talking beforehand. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm <laughs> no, not buying it. No, I don't. It's possible. No. Nah. It's a possibility. No. Nah. Four months. But listen, you, Four months. you are always talking about how men just sit there waiting in the wings. For I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't. That, that I, doesn't mean that she was talking to him. I don't doubt that he was waiting in the, in, in, in the wings. I'm convinced that he was sending her messages every now and again, blah, 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 just to, you know, What's going on? Are you alright? How's Possibly. things? Da, 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 but you da, don't know. Da, she da, might have been like, post, she might have posted our you know single life again and he might have been like, Right, okay, let me reach out. It might not be that she was contacting him before that or could he be. was contacting her. Could be, I don't buy it. I mean of course, be. You, of course you don't. Could be. Of course you don't. Right, but you know, it's it's important for us to have two different situations. Yeah, yeah, I I I hear that. I get that. I just don't buy it. I just, but, then, I just uh, but at the end of the day, like, what has she done wrong? I'm sorry, you fumbled the bag. She was so, oh, no. yeah. so needy. What are you upset about? Like, and also, how long is she supposed to wait before you get back into a relationship? How long was the break for? That's why I don't believe in breaks. <laughs> no, there are no such things as breaks. Like, There's break ups, and breaks. that's it. it I don't. No such thing. It, I think the the, the whole. This is going to sound like a Friends episode. We're on a break. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll title. That's what I'll entitle this one. We're on a break. Um, the we're on a break situation creates too many. Too, it's too wide a grey area. Mm-hmm. What can you do? What can you can you not do while yeah. someone's on a break? Like so, with with split with. By the sounds of things, the non-intention of actually getting together or the hope that we're going to get back together again. By the sounds of things, by by the scenario, mm-hmm. like that break period that you're in, like. You're either single, you're not yeah. to me. Like this, there is no and I'm and in me saying that 
I don't believe that they, I believe that they were talking. Doesn't exclude the fact or preclude the fact that I think that you know she hasn't done anything wrong necessarily with getting back with her ex, and she certainly hasn't done anything wrong with ter- in terms of you know s- seeing other people. But I do think that they were talking beforehand because I don't believe that, that I don't believe that it, it uh, it's possible. either that or she was harboring feelings for it to be on again so quickly. Well, it probably on so quickly because actually this is why you need to figure out why people break up in the first place because it might have been something not that major. Do you get what I mean? Like they, that they broke up and then she kind of started to... So then they kind of had a conversation and it only really takes one conversation. If a man's really waiting in the wings and he realises you're single, it only takes one conversation for him to clear up the reason they broke up. Oh, you know, babe, you know, the reason we broke up, I just feel like I shouldn't, we shouldn't have broken up. It was this, it was that. She's feeling sweet, blah, blah, blah. It's like, can we meet for coffee? They go meet for coffee. She doesn't even have to be speaking to them that whole time she's in a relationship. He saw an opportunity. The girl is actually on a break. Yeah, let me make that break permanent. That's what he thought. And he jumped in there. I don't think it's, necess- I don't think it's necessarily... Mm. I'm not putting my hand in fire for her because it's possible that she was talking to him. But um, based, I just, I have five brothers. I'm telling you, they'll swoop in there talking or no talking. As soon as they find out you're on a break, they're swooping in there. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna retract my, um, <laughs> my stance because I've been that dude. <laughs> I've just been that dude. Watching, watching uh, friends. You have mutual friends. Thing, you're like, so how? Nah, how's Sharon? Is, she good. I was. I was on a break now, you know. I wasn't even watching on the sidelines. <laughs> I wasn't. I heard a whisper, and that was it. <laughs> I, I heard a whisper, and I and then I wanted to clarify whether that whisper was fact. And then I was cheeky enough to say, "Well, I'm going to make it a fact. Come meet me for blah blah blah." Yeah, I get it. See, it shouldn't have it. to necessarily be. I'm not saying she wasn't. I still think there's a chance that she was. There's a chance that she was, or there's a chance that he was kind of not necessarily talking about liking photos and uh, that yeah. kind of stuff. I, you get what I mean? I think for him, for for the guy that's written the scenario in here, for him to jump to that conclusion, I think there's no smoke without fire. So I I I believe that I believe that for him to have that as a as a thing um and he's put that in the scenario here i think there's i think that the likelihood is that he that they were yeah, um there's a possibility but i do right. i do further as i said we, we all admit then there's changes and get it I, I i i i do understand how it could happen where they weren't i do i'm not going to be easy on you you fumbled the bag rather than dealing with what those insecurities were where they came from um you know her feeling needy what that was about where that came from how you could support her you decided let's go on a break you fumbled the bag well i'm okay i'm okay with what she did i'm okay with it so okay i, I think for, for me i've got to separate this into two that dealing with the was she talking was she not I, I i can concede on that respect in terms of the the insecurities and constant neediness like everyone's got different toler- tolerance levels for mm-hmm. what have you and my other qu- query would be is were any was there any behavior on your part that's actually feeding into that insecurity or feeding into and, and making her be needy other than that also following on from that is you don't know how long they're going to be together before he might be the same in the same boat going right well i can't stand it either and their, their relationship's over when someone's got an insecurity, if you're if you've decided to be in the relationship with them, then you understand that that solving that insecurity or at least finding a way of managing that insecurity is also your responsibility, mm. and that starts primarily with checking your own behaviour to make sure that you're not doing anything that's feeding into that insecurity and making it worse. You can't cl- you can't you can't complain about the smoke of a fire if you're the one that's fanning it. It doesn't make any sense. Mm. You know, so if she has got an insecurity about, I don't know, you with other women or you in, in going out for clubs and what have you, are you are you doing anything to mitigate that? So are you taking her out with you, say, for argument's sake, so she doesn't, so she actually sees what you're like when you're in, when you're out. Does she, have you introduced her to, to your friends? That is, you know, it's, we're, we've all, we all come into a relationship with our history and the stuff that's happened to us in the past and the things that we've decided based on that stuff. Mm. You know, if you've decided to be with someone, their responsibility is to open the bag to let you see it. Your, your responsibility is to help them unpack the bag and unload the bag and put these things on the shelf rather than carrying them clattering, clattering around. So my question would be really to you is going, right, well, as I said, is there anything that you were doing or that you are doing or anything about you that is feeding into that insecurity yeah. to make it worse? 
And also, this word insecurity that I think is thrown around so much, like there is a difference between someone being insecure within themselves, as in their self-worth and self-esteem, and someone that's not secure in their relationship. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we say, oh, she's insecure, or he's insecure. And actually, it's not that they're insecure within themselves. They have no issue within themselves and their self-worth. The issue is within the relationship, not feeling yeah. secure and safe in the relationship. So separate those two things because this sounds more to me like there's an insecurity within the relationship, not necessarily her. And so they don't always they don't always intertwine. They sometimes they're two completely separate things. Yeah. So when you're talking about insecurities generally, just don't throw around the word saying someone's insecure because that really does hold negative connotations. Think about is it that she's not secure in the relationship and what steps on that can I do to support in that or what steps have I taken to create those uh, that feeling of in her feeling unsafe and when she's when you're saying she's having needy is that because she like you said neediness is kind of more like she needs something because she's not getting something yeah. what is that do you get what I mean so it's kind of like oh yeah someone's insecure and needy and it kind of sounds so negative like there's this woman that's like walking around like, like it's like a holding on to your leg when you're trying to leave out the door um, and so be clear about what that is and then for her to then go back into a relationship with her ex doesn't necessarily mean that means that actually she may something has been said that makes her feel safe and secure to get back into that situation <laughs> but not in your situation. Like, seriously, we need to start taking accountability for our actual actions in our relationships. I'm yeah. not going to be easy on you, sorry. No, I, 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 I sway with this one. You can be pissed, I think though. You're allowed to be pissed because that's your emotions. You're, you're, you've got every right to be annoyed, you know, and I still think, as I said, I still think, I acknowledge the fact that there may not be, and it may have been, like, a, an immediate thing, guys ripped in, all the rest of it, <laughs> but... For me, that the, my gut, my gut still says that, you know, she they were talking before. I don't necessarily mean that they were necessarily talking. Well, no, I do mean they were talking. They were talking. Like, I think he's been trying to shot a shot on the side, and she might have been like, no, 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 and then all of a sudden we're on a break, and then hey, hey, presto, here we go. Yeah, it's, um, possible. it's hugely possible. Yeah, I think <sighs> the going back with the ex bit is the bit that naturally drags everyone's attention and we focus on that bit but I don't actually think that's the bit that you should be focused on because the fact that she's gone back gone back or gone to someone else is that's just what's happened what I like to look at is the why like why is it that this relationship itself got to a point where you're on a break so to speak and also the use of break why was why did you choose a break and not break up you know was it that you actually wanted her to come pining back for you is that what you were after what was the objective when you declared it to be a break if you're saying that this person is as you put it on this in this scenario here so insecure and their neediness is at that level that you can't take it anymore then to me that's a break up see you later i'm off um if you're talking about right well why would you choose why would you choose a break rather than a breakup to me it just indicates that you didn't want this relationship to end. And if you didn't want the relationship to end, then why did you call a break? And then maybe now it's making me think that maybe you've got some insecurities in, in your situation that's maybe fired her insecurities in that respect, which has caused, you know, this, yeah. this breakup in the first place. I mean, I'm trying not to make my imagination go wild, but hey, she's insecure, she's needy, and then all of a sudden you want a break, but not a breakup. So like, what did you need the break for? Why was she feeling insecure? Now, I'm thinking as a woman now. Now I'm thinking, you are not behaving the way you need to be behaving. That made her insecure. That made her be checking up on you all the time. That gave you some, like, frustration. So you decided, let me have a break so I can continue doing what I'm doing. And I'll get back with her when I'm ready. That's why you were so, co like, so cool the, with the whole... Off no, I'm like, no, it's making sense <laughs> to me now. Yeah. That's no. why you were so cool for, oh, you know, I was okay with the break being up to four months long. Who has a break for four months long as well? I was okay with that until I realised that she's now doing the dirty on me by going back to her ex. When all this time you were cool... I don't think he, he was, was. He was. He was cool for four months. I, I don't think cool he was because because if you look at it, if you look at it for a second, you guys, it's been four months, and although we have spoken as friends, it hasn't progressed back into a relationship. He he wanted it to go back into a relationship. He wanted her to be. Begging. He want. He want. Yeah. So in in other words, my query now is, 
who shouldn't really need the needy one? No, and I don't mean this to be sort of a accusatory kind of kind of tone on this respect, but this is this is a class A scenario for me mm. of people not saying what they want, right. you know, and not being transparent with your partner about what it is that you want through whatever fear or whatever scenario it is has caused you to feel that you need to obscure it. Mm. If you want someone, then you have to say that you want them. If you want love from someone, you have to say that you love them. Yeah. You know, relationships are a supply and demand situation. But check the order of which those words are used. It's supply first, then demand. Now, there's something in here in my gut that tells me that something that you were doing, some sort of activity or way in which you were doing it or the way in which you were or the way in which you are, has promoted and pushed and pushed buttons on her insecurities that has made her needy. Now, I'm not saying that her neediness and her level of insecurity, maybe she took it to the point where she was, you know, const- I don't know, she scratched out and you're screaming and you constantly wanted to go through your phone, X, Y, Z. I'm not saying that those behaviours are acceptable in any shape or form. But again, in the same situation, I don't like to look at the event. I like to look at the events before that led to the event. And if your behavior is, is what's caused her to get to those co- sorts of extremities, then your behavior also needs to be checked and you need to adjust how you're doing something. But you can't cry about a relationship ending if you are the one that essentially created the scenario for it to end. You called in, you wanted a break because you wanted her to essentially be needy. The same thing that you were complaining about, yeah. you're wanting her to be by coming back to you to almost like beg you back. And now the situation has backfired in your face because now she's decided that it's a breakup, not just a break. Um, so, yeah, it's transparency for me. You need to be clear about what it is that you want. You need to be clear about what it is that you want from, from, from them. You know? And don't, don't ask for a break and not be willing to run the risk of it breaking up. It really doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. What's your advice? Would you tell him to try and get her back from her ex? I think you need to spend some time looking at yourself first of all and go, okay, well, do I really want her? Um, because I don't think that that's actually clear here for me either. Mm-hmm. You know, I think you need to ask yourself some serious questions. Go, okay, do I really want her? You know, and if that is that you want her, then yes, I do think you should go and speak to her and go, okay, right, well, this is what happened. And, have, and be as transparent and honest and as vulnerable with her as you possibly can be. You know, and then, but be willing to understand and accept that she may not want you back now. Yeah. She may be happy with the ex, you know, and even if it doesn't work out with the ex, she may not want either of you. You know, that's, that, that's the game of, that's the game that we play when we, when we, when we enter into the circles of love. You have to be prepared to be vulnerable and honest with, it, with, with the other person and accept that it may work the way in which you want it to, but then it may not. But I think that you've got some serious work to do within yourself to work out why it is that you, feel that you need someone to almost like beg you back that's a sort of power struggle kind of game that i don't really i've come across it with, with, with people but i'm not I, I don't really understand i think you need to understand where that's coming from because if she was that bad you would have just cut ties yeah. and move on you might be annoyed that she's as i said talking to her ex but whilst the two of you are together because she got back to with him so quickly it might be that he's as slick and smooth as some some guys are out there and be able to twist it around and get her back. Um, I'm, 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 I'm not, yeah, anyway, <laughs> happy married now. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I, it, it, it may be the case, but I think just the fact that your brain is running from one thing to the other shows that you're not clear on where you are and what you want. And could the fact that you're not being clear on what you want be the very thing that made her insecure and needy and cause this whole situation in the first place yeah and i also think it's probably that you actually really don't want to be with her because you were so okay with not getting back together there was no date or anything but it's just the ego that's been a bit bruised and so you're a bit annoyed so it's fine it's cool yeah 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 i mean what advice would you give to to her to her yeah um, Let's run the scenario that he did come back to and he does go to her right well. I think she should stick with the ex. Why? Because I think the whole process that he's done, I just I just think that's ridiculous. I, I don't I don't approve of this, oh you're insecure or needy and then we're just gonna have this break and then you wanna be talking to me on my phone as a friend or, and then expect me to just be sitting here waiting for you to make a decision about 
being back together. I think what I'm seeing it is in order, and I, I can only look at it from my perspective, but in order for someone to go back to their ex, whatever was the issue couldn't have been really big. And it's something that could easily be worked on or being without the person has made you see how unimportant that issue was. And you've had a conversation, you've worked through it and that there was, it must have been a small situation. And therefore now she's happy. So. Well, happy is an assumption. Well, yeah, well. Happy is an assumption. Well, she's, she's content with whatever it was that they've now resolved. Yeah. And yeah. That, that's just what it is. And I think for him... It's, it's a, a major lesson. I do think you shot yourself in the foot. I do. Um, for the calling the break, if if the relationship is what you he wanted. He didn't want her. Um, he didn't want her. He didn't. Yeah. Because he wouldn't have risked that. He, that was, that's a huge risk. And they were, well, so if you're, I'm, I don't believe in breaks, but if you're going to have a break, there should be a time frame that you're coming back to each other to discuss when... Like, do you get what I mean? Okay, I just need some space for two weeks. And then we're going to come back. We're going to go to dinner. And we're going to go through some of the things that we're thinking, what, where we're at. There was no plan. It's like, oh, yeah, we're going to take a break. There needs to be some rules around these breaks. Yeah, like, I just... If, if, if you're doing... If, you're, if there are no set rules for the break, then no one could get upset, really, with anyone for anything that they did whilst during a break. Yeah. Um, so... But you're allowed to feel. You're allowed to have that emotion. There's, there's, there's nothing wrong with feeling that emotion. You're well within your rights to feel how you want to feel. Um, but it's irrelevant. It's, everything else is irrelevant now because the relationship is over. And we just kind of need to deal with that and move on. Yeah. So take the time to, to deal with that and move on. The more I read, uh, read over this, the more I just think that you... The guy behind this is in a space where you need to do some reflection mm. on you and what you're about and where you're going. It just I look at this situation, it just says screams to me as a person that's all, a bit all over the place and you're taking other people's hearts and minds along that crazy journey with you rather than being absolutely clear on what it is that you are, who you are and where you're going. Um, Another example of date you first, right? 100%, 100%. And really, really the, the basis of, 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 of the book, I can't wait to get it out, um, of the book, it's, an, it's a self-MOT. You know, it's, um, you, you, you coined the one first with the, um, the SWOT analysis on yourself. You know, you've got to take some time out to really, all right, let's put it this way. My stance is this. I think that this breakup here has happened because you need to be by yourself. You need to take some time out to understand who you are and work out what your position is on things and where you want to go forward and what type of relationship you want it to have moving forward and the type of person you want to be moving forward and be with. I think that there are some massive question marks going through your head as to who you are and what you're doing. And that's consequently having a knock on effect on the relationships that you're sparking and having. Um, and I don't think they actually stand a chance of getting to the level of happiness that you want and deserve until you've done the work, work necessary on yourself first. You don't represent a safe space for someone to attach to because there's too many question marks and there's too many holes in the ship. So rather than taking on extra weight in terms of responsibilities and, and things to do with someone else, you need to lighten the load and go, right, well, I'm just looking at me now and work out who you are, what you want to do, what you want, where you're going, you know, before you start taking on the wants and needs of others that may cloud that judgment or cloud that vision. You've really got to do some work on yourself. Um, I think, as Charmaine said, you're quite right to, to be allowed to feel annoyed, angry, pissed, whatever label you want to put on it for, for the scenario. I do think that I do think that she was possibly talking to the person whilst the two of you were together, at least the guy keeping the, the world or, or opportunity or possibility warm. Um, but I think the reason as to why this scenario has happened is 100% on your lap. Um, and you need to take that and understand the responsibility that you've now got with that to improve and help yourself. I think you're in a, if you do it right, you're in an awesome position to make the rest of your life the best of your life, but you've got to do, you've got to do the work. Yeah, agreed. You've got to do the work, definitely. 
Right, so that brings us to the end of the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do hit the subscription button. I don't know where it is down there somewhere. And don't forget to ring the bell. That's up there somewhere as well. It helps us out with that infamous algorithm that we all live our life by, whether we want to or not um, these days. Um, so yeah, don't forget to do that. Also, a couple score after score. Come and disagree with Charmaine. Nah, not really. Come and share your opinions, your thoughts, and your feelings with us live on Instagram on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Just click that follow button on the Couple School, um, podcast, Couple School Instagram page, and we shall see you there. But in the meantime, you stay strong, stay focused. See you later, guys. Peace. <laughs>